I remember when there was a time that I hated my hair and I wanted my hair to be flat and just stick to my head and now I'm like more volume please <laughs> hey guys it's Darcy I should not have worn a black shirt for this video <laughs> but it's Michael Jackson though <laughs> So today I am finally talking about my hair. I'm getting a lot of requests on how I grew my hair so fast and I am going to tell you guys exactly what I did in order to gain 12 inches in length, 12 inches in one year. So just a little backstory for those who are new to my channel. Hello if you are new. Um, I used to have a texturizer which is basically a relaxer. Um, so I used to have a relaxed hair and then I transitioned for a bit. Uh, I think I transitioned for like 14 months or so and then I became fully natural about four and a half years ago. So I've been 100% natural for about four and a half years now. And through those four and a half years, I didn't just let my hair grow. Um, in between that, I dyed it, I've straightened it, I've damaged it, I've cut it off. Um, and last year, I graduated. So um, I know that there's lots of ways that you can wear your natural hair with a graduation cap, but like, I just didn't want to bother. So I straightened my hair for my graduation. And um, when I straightened my hair, I also cut off a lot of the really gross ends that I had. So I cut off probably like three, maybe close to four inches in some places of my hair. Um, so my hair went from about bra strap length to um, armpit length. So my hair was about right here. I will insert a picture here of um, this photo that I took at my graduation ceremony it was a selfie that I took on my phone um, for my graduation and I posted it on Instagram. Uh, I graduated, I think it was June 17th or something like that, 2016. Um, so my hair was, yeah, right here, about armpit length. And now it is June of uh, this year. It actually just became June. I'm filming this on a June 1st. <laughs> so it just became June. And uh, like two weeks ago, I was in the shower doing my hair and I pulled my hair down and I'm like, I'm waist length. My hair is waist length. How did my hair go from armpit length to waist length in one year? That's crazy. And I remember the last time I straightened my hair was back in January and I got it professionally straightened because literally I was too lazy to just straighten my own hair. <laughs> when I was getting my hair straightened, I was like, Floored because my hair was mid back length and I was like how like I sh I cut my hair like seven months ago um, So I thought about it and then I realized I did all of these things to make my hair grow and I didn't even realize it So my first tip on how to grow your hair is to Stop obsessing about it when I first went natural my hair was really really short and I am not used to having short hair I've had long hair pretty much my whole life. So when I went natural and I had short hair, I was like, oh, I, I am not gonna lie guys, I hated it. I loved my curls, but I hated how they just shrunk up and and it looked like I had no hair at all because I was just not used to having um, short hair. I would watch all these girls on YouTube who had beautiful long hair and I wish that my hair was that long too and I couldn't wait for my hair to be that long. I tried all sorts of things. I, I used to deep condition like twice a week. I would do length checks. You know, when you're first natural, you're pretty much like obsessed with it. Always trying to find the right products. Always, um, you know, marking your progress and everything like that. And as I you know, went further into my hair journey, I started to relax a little bit and be like, you know, it's just my hair. Like, whatever. I don't really care anymore. Um, and then last year, I got into makeup. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, then you know that I didn't really wear much makeup before, but now I'm like beat face like this took me an hour. <laughs> During that whole year that I got into makeup, I also got into wigs and like, you know, just like slaying the game like, yes, bitch. <laughs> so I started making wigs, I started dyeing them and playing around with them and stuff and I loved that I could change my hair all the time um, without ever damaging my own hair. So my real hair for most of the time was 
protect it. So number two is to protect your hair. But let me tell you this, a lot of people when they do protective styling, they'll wear weaves or braids and their hair will be um, covered up or braided up for a long time. That is not the case with what I did. Because I wore wigs, I could just easily take off the wig every night. So, in between when I wasn't wearing wigs, my hair was braided or I would put my hair up in a bun. So, my hair was never braided for more than two weeks. Two weeks would be like the longest time because I'm like hella lazy. <laughs> so, two weeks would be the longest time that I would ever go without you know completely taking the braids out washing co-washing conditioning detangling my hair i would never go any longer than that so my hair was constantly being taken care of i'd say that most of the time it was once a week once a week i would uh, co-wash condition detangle and braid it back up again so my hair was always in braids or a bun that was the standard for me and i did this for an entire year. My hair was just constantly protected but also still being taken care of, still being moisturized and detangled and properly taken care of. Or I wasn't constantly doing wash and goes, my hair wasn't being straightened. I also stopped dyeing my hair. Um, the last time I dyed my hair, this blonde down here is really really old. This is I'd say the last time I dyed my hair was about a year and a half ago maybe. So that also really contributed to my hair growth. I don't straighten my hair very often. Last time I straightened my hair, like I said, was in January. I probably straightened my hair twice a year maximum. Um, as far as cutting my hair, I don't really cut it. I, you guys can probably tell. I don't really cut my hair very often. The last time I cut it was in June for my graduation, that was the last time I cut my hair really. Oh, no, that's not true. I cut my hair in January when I got my hair straightened. She cut off like half an inch to an inch because the blonde ends are really like, no. They're like, no ma'am, mm -mm, bye. So eventually I'm gonna get rid of all of the blonde. So as for my current regimen, what I'm doing right now is braid outs. This is a braid out, I do braid outs all the time this is a really old one but <laughs> um, I do a braid outs all the time so I'm still wearing wigs I still wear my wigs quite often so my hair is just constantly braided it's being braided and unbraided braided and unbraided and I put it in buns a lot or I put it in like the pineapple style a lot so my hair is always up and off of my shoulders I am planning on getting a haircut I definitely want to get a diva cut I want more volume in my hair like all this part here is really really long and droopy and I just want it to like you know stick up and be like more more of like an afro like a you know what I mean and I'm gonna film it for you guys I'm gonna try and film it for you guys and get some good footage I'm gonna go to the curl bar in Toronto uh, because everybody's telling me to go including natural VC natural VC just went there so um, I'm gonna definitely check it out hopefully they don't mess up my hair guys oh my god those are my tips it's really, really easy. I mean, I wish I could tell you that I had taken a magic pill and my hair just grew overnight, <laughs> but that's not the way it works. But fortunately for you guys, the way that it does work is to just let it go. Just let it go and let it be and things will happen for you. I find that's the way life works. When I finally stopped concentrating on my hair and started concentrating on something else, that's when my hair grew. So remember, tip number one, just let it go, stop obsessing about it, and just let your hair grow. Tip number two, protective styling, but protective styling while taking care of your hair. And tip number three, no more straightening, no more dyeing. Don't be changing your color to like pink, blue, green, orange, yellow every single day. Let it be. All three of these are let it be. It's a theme. <laughs> leave your hair alone let your hair do what it wants to do that is it for my tips guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was actually helpful i know my tips are a little bit different than um your typical hair guru um but 
that's really the honest truth. If you guys liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I make two videos a week and you don't want to miss that. And also you guys can follow me on all of my social media down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.